Hi there, a very good morning, good afternoon to all of you depending on wherever you're watching me. This simply starts with another video and this time this video relates uh, to a, a very decent large cap retail firm. It's a retail company that has done extremely well over the last 5-6 uh, years and is performing extremely well on the results front. So we'll discuss about that. Let's get started. First of all, a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should that with their own diligence and research. And I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Uh, whatever discussions I have uh, with respect to stocks or markets is purely on my education, on my experience over the last 11, 12 years. I'm not a member of the NHC and BSC and that I'm not an official portfolio advisor. These all my are my personal opinion and any buying selling decision or any financial decision that you take, kindly take that on note that it is laden with market risk and uh, things can go up and down uh, in a market environment, whatever asset class that you buy into, kindly do uh, consult your financial advisor before taking any call on any stocks that we discuss on. Before I talk about this retail firm, here's small request that kindly support me on Patreon. Once you do that, help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions, seek out answers in greater details. You'll get better videos on, on YouTube. You'll have access to portfolio analysis on different companies, sectors, discussion on domestic and global economy. How is the economy shaping up from a short term, long term point of view? Global market discussion is all there. Updated watch list from time to time and answer to all the queries that, that you have. So you can join me on what WhatsApp or on Patreon. Uh, if you want to join me on WhatsApp, you can email me for that. To discuss about the company, let me take you to the screen of website. And so the company in question in here is Trent, a 94,000 crore market cap company trading at a PE of 150-160. Currently the price is around 2600-2650. Uh, interestingly poised this company although I, I must say that the valuations are stretched but the way the numbers are panning out uh, uh, this could just continue to uh, perform so it is engaged in retailing of apparels uh, uh, footwear accessories toys games uh, food etc basically they have malls Trent has different types of malls lifestyle etc uh, that are there across India so if I talk about the business first and then we'll talk about the numbers so if you look at the business overall it is a large conglomerate of a tata group uh, uh, retail format stores they have presently the company operates around 400 stores in various you can say retail concepts so they have west side 174 stores of west side which is a uh, branded fashion apparel footwear and accessories uh, you can say uh, a retail store for women men and children all together then they have uh, so it is a trends flagship format and accounts for accounted for 75 percent of total revenue of the company in fi21 uh, zudio is another you can say segment that they're working on 133 stores it is the company's value fashion concept and offers fashion at competitive prices for women, men and, and children. It also has a range of 100% exclusive, you can say retail brand portfolio, uh, like West Side Concept, etc. They have Star Market, which is around 60 stores. It is a hypermarket and supermarket in which you get all the kind of groceries and other kinds of products for daily items. Uh, it is a 50-50 JV between Trent and Tesco that uh, you need to understand. Then they have Zara and Messi, Messi Ma Dutti, uh, 24 stores in there in which primarily they sell Zara products uh, which are high-end products for uh, the high-end individuals and the entity is recorded I think revenue of around close to 1200 crores in FI21. It is a part of the Tata group and has uh, created immense wealth uh, for the shareholders. Uh, at it uh, around uh, say over the last five years or so uh, the company has done exceedingly well from around 330 rupees the stock has surged to around 2600 rupees that is a good eight fold jump in in uh, you can say market cap the way the market cap has swelled uh, in terms of pe it's trading at around 150 uh, you can say at a pe of 150 
is its average PE for the last five years. So it is not ultra expensive. It is at an average of what it used to be. In terms of numbers, now this is interesting. Numbers have gone up sharply in September 20 during the pandemic. They had around 580 crores of sales. Today they are having 3000 crores of sales quarterly. So they did 3, 000, nearly 3000 crores of sales in September of uh, uh, 23 versus 2000 crores of sales in September 22. Profit also jumped from 256 crores to 457 crores. Margins expanded from 13% to 15%. And bottom line number, is also extremely good uh, around 228 crores versus about uh, 79 crores so huge jump on bottom line as well they are expected to come out with around 23 24 rupees of eps based on that at around 2650 it's not looking very very expensive if we calculate uh, based on 24 rupees trading at 110 times earnings so trend is looking extremely good nine times sales is slightly stretched uh, but on EPS front uh, looks very very interesting at these valuation albeit on a five-year basis it used to trade at around eight times sales and now trading at nine times sales now in terms of you can say uh, shareholding pattern 37 percent is the with the promoter 26 percent is with FIIs which have increased uh, which have remained stable uh, over the last uh, year or so year year and a half holding is around 15 percent retail holding has been stable at around 21.9 percent in which uh, we have one and a half percent with you can say large investors so around 20 percent holding is uh, with the retail public very interesting company what i feel is that this is a firm or this is a company to invest into from a five to ten year perspective is if consumerism is going to go up sharply then businesses like Trent and DMART are going to do extremely well. Uh, remember that on FI24 basis, it's trading at 110, 115 times, not 160 times. Uh, even on the sales front, if I calculate, uh, in the last two quarters, they did 5,600 crores of sales. If I add their uh, other income as well, they did around 5,800 crores of sales. I will not be surprised if they end the year with around 12,000 crores of sales. So on a 12,000 crores sales basis at around 95,000 crores, it's trading at under eight times sales, which is not very stretched. It is on an average keel with seven to eight times sales. That's what they trade at. Uh, this company trades at from a five year perspective. So this is a company on any five to 10% decline. One can definitely analyze this and look at it or probably keep in the watch list in order to buy or sell probably you take your own decision but looks very interesting so this was a video on trend please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my videos straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching